This week on Country Music Junkies, we have a new artist to introduce you to. We have Texas native Abby Hervella on the phone. Abby, thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Thanks for having me. Now, I want to introduce you to the Country Music Junkies fan base, and I want to start at the beginning. I know you are still in high school. You are uh, in your teen years, but you've been in the music industry for quite a while. This started pretty early for you, so so take us back to the okay. beginning, and, and how did this all start for you? So I actually, um, down here in Texas, pretty much everyone has choir, and um, I started singing in choir, and I fell in love with it, and I asked for a guitar for Christmas one year, and I got a guitar, and from there, I got involved with a program called Real Life Real Music that offers songwriter camps over the summer, and I went to one of the songwriter camps, and I got up on stage for the first time, and um, as soon as I walked out on stage, I just knew that this is what I wanted to do, and from there on, I just continued pursuing it, and getting involved, and going to open mics, and singing, and writing, and just everything that comes along with it, and that was that's pretty much how I got started, and still going. Excellent. Now, obviously, songwriting is a really important part of your music. You began writing at age 12, mm -hmm. uh, or even earlier mm -hmm. than that, I guess. Uh, what do you find that a lot of your music is about in terms of um, sort of the, the content and the stories that you tell? I'm <laughs> bored. <laughs> well, definitely. I mean, I'm a teenager, and that's, that's what goes on in your high school years. And It doesn't um, change in your adult life either. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, both. No, I'll always be about boys, and I like to take from some of my friends' experiences as well. If I'm For sure. not in a relationship or if I'm going through a hard time, then I like to draw from my own experiences and also people around me. So. Excellent. Well, that is really cool. Now, I want to talk about your debut EP, The Start. Seven songs mm -hmm. uh, produced by Shane Stevens, which is really cool. Yeah, um, really. Talk, talk to us about that uh, EP and the process of kind of putting that together. Well, we started out with just collecting a bunch of songs and putting them all on a drive and going through and listening to each one of them and deciding which ones we wanted. We actually started with five songs and we ended up falling in love with two more of them and so we had to put them on there. So we ended up with the seven song EP. <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that. They're, they're great songs. I know. We tried to go for a bringing back like the Dixie Chicks and the Dolly Parton and the Shania Twain's of way back what it feels like and bringing it in in a more useful and modern way and just having fun and it's something you can listen to in the car and enjoy what you're listening to so excellent yeah. and that is that is very true now if fans want to check out your music they can do so on your website abbyhervellamusic.com now are yeah. you big on social media well <laughs> of course I'm a teenager so I'm on all the social media I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and they're all pretty much um, just Abby Ravella, A B B E Y H I R V E L A. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. They're all the same. So you'll find me anywhere. Google it. <laughs> Excellent. Well, Abby, thank you so, so much for your time. I really appreciate it. No problem. Um, best of luck with the, uh, the debut EP and uh, obviously upcoming music. And uh, yeah, we look forward to staying in touch with you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.